But this time, instead of being given a length of one of the sides, let's say you're given the length of the diagonal. Okay, let's say that the diagonal measures 8, the diagonal of one face. So we're looking at this measurement right here as being 8. How would we find the surface area? Well, there are a couple things you need to know. This square has a 45, 45, 90 triangle embedded inside it, all squares do. So this angle is 45, this angle is 45, and I have a 90 degree angle. So to work from the hypotenuse of a 45, 45, 90 back to the side, I'm going to divide by the square root of 2, because that's the rule, divide by the square root of 2. So 8 divided by the square root of 2 is 4 square root 2. And that gives me the length of the face. So the side is now, now we know is 4 square root 2. Now we can take that and plug it into our formula. So we're going to take 6 times 4 square root 2 quantity squared to find the surface area. Again, we have to square the 4 square root 2 first. So 4 squared is 16, and the square root of 2 squared is just 2. So the side squared is going to be 32, because 16 times 2 is 32. That gives us the area of one face, but we need to know the area of all six faces. So I'm going to take 6 times 32, and I get 192 square units, and that would be my surface area. So that's how you do one that was a little more difficult, where you're just given the side or the diagonal of the cube. Hope this video was helpful.